the next product that I want to talk about is, is something that you guys may not have been expecting, all right? Uh, one of the most common tools that is used in a shop is a torque wrench, um, especially a click style torque wrench. We need to get very precise with my torque value uh, in order for the machine, the car, the vehicle to operate uh, correctly. Now some of the issues that we've heard is I sit here cranking six, seven, eight, nine, ten times just to get the 60, 80, 150 foot pounds, right? It's a lot of time wasted. It's a lot of muscle effort to get to 60 foot pounds or even 150 foot pounds, right? So what we did is we said, what can we do to improve that part of the process? And I'm excited to introduce you the world's first torque wrench with the motor. All right, it's the M12 Fuel Digital Torque Wrench with one key. What this allows you to do is set your target torque. In this instance, I have 60 foot-pounds on the screen here. All right, I pull the trigger, the tool will shut off prior to my target torque, and then I finish it by hand, but just like a normal torque wrench, to get the accuracy that I'm looking for out of this tool. All right, let's do a quick demo. So again, it's set for 60 foot-pounds. All right, they ran it down to 46. I just finished the rest of the way. I'm at 66, all right? So plus or minus 10% is usually what we see, and that's how this is set up, but you can also adjust it, so I want to be at least 60 plus 10%, at least 60 plus 20%, whatever you want, all right? We'll do that again. Run it down, and you get a notification that I've reached the targeted torque that no I want. Click or feedback, it's just all lights. It's lights, it's sound, there's vibration in the handle, uh, as well as the screen giving you that actual feedback as you're applying the torque. Okay? Now, when you over torque, you also want to know. So, when you over torque the product, you'll also get a notification saying back that bolt off and re torque it. So, this is being released in November. Alright, we have two versions we have a 3 8 and a half inch drive. The 3 8 will go from 10 to 100 foot pounds, the half inch will go from 10 to 150 foot pounds. Alright? Now, that productivity savings that we talked about, that's great, but if you're not accurate, who cares? Uh, I'm excited to let you guys know that we're delivering up to 2% accuracy with this torque wrench, meeting or exceeding a lot of the click style uh, and equaling a lot of those digital torque wrenches that are out there today, okay? Can you switch it over to Newton meters? Yep, you can. So, the question was, can you switch it over to other units of measure, like Newton meters or inch pounds? Just by a couple uh, pushes of the button, I'm now in inch pounds, all right? Does it do angle? It does not do angle. That is the one thing it does not do, all right? So uh, you can run it down for your your, um, your head bolts. You can run it down uh, and put uh, and get it to that torque value, but it does not have angle. So you have to Precepts. use a, a measure for it. Presets? Uh, Presets. You can set whatever preset you want in here. You have 15 modes, so you can set the torque value. So if there's specific applications that you want to preset it in, you can set that up in the tool um, through uh, through the screen. What's the price? The price will be five ninety nine for the bare tool, seven forty nine for the kit. Okay. For either one. For, the for either one. Yep. Now the the critical piece here. Um, there's a lot of uh, certification required. You have to torque uh, recalibrate your torque wrenches every year. Same thing here. All right. Now you will get a paper copy, but you will also get the ability to look at your uh, last time you had it calibrated and certified, and you'll get notified at that annual date Do you as send well. it back into you to certify it? will it? be through us um, okay. for certification because we've heard third party usually takes a while. Oh God. We are, <laughs> we are, um, you might never see it again. We are going to improve on that process. Yeah, right? okay. like to bring location, yep, right? to Greenwood. You, see, yes. you might never see it again. Okay. okay. That, that is the screen protected? The yeah, screen is protected, yep. Right and we can get into more, uh, more sure details in a, in a little yeah. bit. Uh, specs on the 3S is 10 to 100 foot pounds, half inch is 10 to 150 foot pounds. Yep, inch pounds is right here. Alright, go to units, inch pounds, newton meters, and kilogram centimeters just by the press of a button. I can also adjust my screen display so I can go to a dark screen. All dark um, mode. All dark. Dude, is this an iPhone? Is it gonna <laughs> it's, call me? It's pretty darn close. Alright, we have we can have we have time for more questions. And then run it down like a torque wrench. Is there a, an outside range that will actually damage the tool? Not until you go over uh, 100% of the uh, 
max value. of yep. the max value of the tool yep. or what you I'll set it. it. Okay, so what would that be? 225 be, yep. pound feet? Correct. Okay. On this one? Yep. That's pretty legit. And you can use it to back bolts off as well. It does whole life testing. To, so to, also good for breakaway tools? Yep. yep. Now most guys probably won't just because it is a precision device, yeah. but um, you have the ability. I don't know, if you put a motor on it, we're going to do it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> fine. We, we knew that and we, we designed it for it. That's a big tool. <laughs> Brian, you want me to drive your camera for yeah. you? Yeah, okay. Sorry, You're more handsome than I am anyway, so. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to change the torque, just hit OK. All right, and, uh, All right cool. You have to go on, make sure you go on a bolt that is loose, otherwise it'll be, uh, Except for minus zero percent on the minimum, plus twenty percent on the max. Okay. So if I want to adjust that, all I got to do is go down here, hit OK, and then I can adjust this, you know, one way or the other. So I can, if I want to go plus or minus ten percent, and it's all off of your target torque. So it'll give you the percent, but then also get the, the unit of measure that you're working on there. And then you'll also see what your acceptable torque is um, in those uh, parentheses there. What's the lowest percent you can take it down? Oh, is it 10? Uh, uh, 20. 20%, 20 percent is the, the lowest all the way to zero. You have the uh, inch pound one here? Uh, inch pound is I mean, actually... I mean the three eighths. This is the three eighths, uh, the half off is over the other side, but it's very similar to this. You don't want to use that? That's a half inch, right? <laughs> yeah, that, you, you could use it. It, it wouldn't go well. But. When is that? November. November. Yeah. And it's nothing else like it in the market today. Yeah.